Hello guys, so Fru here. Welcome to the channel Tech with Fru. Uh, today I wanted to do a quick review of a very exciting project that went live. Uh, just fresh off the press, uh, I was reading the article here, GitHub reviews, uh, new AI tool that makes coding uh, suggestions. Uh, I think it's even more powerful than the title is going to make us believe. Uh, basically, uh, this is a, a tool from OpenAI uh, built on one of their language models to help with coding. Uh, if you like me, uh, you probably are scared when you read something like this. Uh, it might just be uh, a sign on the wall that uh, sooner or later, the code or the job done by programmers today is all going to be automated. As you guys know on this channel, I've made videos about the language model from GPT-3 uh, that is created by OpenAI. And it's a very powerful model for writing articles or writing content. Now take that to the next level and apply that to coding. And this is what we see uh, happening right before our own very eyes. So uh, this is something I'll definitely pay close attention to. Uh, this article from TechCrunch talks about it. And if you click on this, it's still fresh off the press, so I haven't had a chance to uh, fully uh, experience uh, this or to do a demo of what it looks like. And I uh, joined the wait list uh, just a, a second ago. So as, I'm, uh, as uh, this goes live, I'm pretty sure once I get my hands on that demo, I'm going to be creating a, a demo for, for us here. Uh, but this is the website on GitHub. Basically, what they've done is they've looked at the entire GitHub repository, which is now owned by Microsoft, and uh, used that to train this uh, model that can allow developers to do uh, code completion. So you can write a comment, and this is going to complete the code for you. And you can see that in SQL, right? you can just write in a, a, a function uh, definition, and it actually writes the implementation of that function for you, or the method for you. I think this is pretty impressive. And there is a Python there. Uh, you have a, a little bit of a definition, uh, a description of what it should be, right, in plain language. And now there's an implementation of that uh, function. Pretty amazing, if you ask me. And then there's Ruby here as well. Uh, you, you have a class, just a basic definition of that class, and it, it implements it for, for you. And as you can imagine, it has the entire repository of GitHub uh, code base to, uh, to pull up from and, and implement this. Now, you might say, how is this different from uh, GPT-3, uh, the model that we're already familiar with? GPT-3 is a powerful model, but it's really good for writing text and, and natural language. But coding is a little bit nuanced and a little bit different. So I think they've trained this new model called the Codex. So uh, GPT-3 has uh, the ADA and the, you know, the Instruct, the DaVinci Instruct, the DaVinci, uh, the, the regular DaVinci and the different engines that are support. Codex is a completely different engine, I believe, that has been trained uh, for this. So it is really geared at writing code. And so if you ask me, just based on what I see, it's pretty, pretty impressive. And if I was a developer, if I wrote code every single day, I would pay close attention to this, not just for the level of productivity you can get from it, but it's my job secure, right? This is the things that I always ask when I read this. So pretty powerful. I did subscribe to join the waitlist. Hopefully, these guys will be, will be nice to me to give me access to the waitlist so I can do some demos about it and share them with you guys. Uh, uh, there's going to be a plugin for Visual Studio Code. Of course, I'm sure there will be plugins for PyCharm. So if you're using any of those IDEs, you can have the code completion right in front of you. Uh, so here you have the language model, which is the codex model. Uh, it leverages GPT, uh, basically a GitHub uh, co-pilot behind the scenes, and it does a code completion for you. So they call it uh, pair programming. I think the name is going to change. I'm sure the branding about it might change, but pretty, pretty impressive. So what I've done here is sign up for the technical preview uh, to join the wait list. I cannot wait to get my hands on this. And as I know more, uh, more demos will come around this. So a very exciting uh, tool, GPT-3 uh, AI pair programming. Thanks for watching. This is Fru.